Hey everyone, this is the answer video for the second of the SC and RC challenges. You were given a paragraph and you had to identify the errors that were there in the paragraph. We will get into the discussion, we will talk about what those errors were. But let's start by talking about what was the common theme in the paragraph. What rule did we try to establish through this challenge? What we tried to establish was basically uniformity in the number used in the sentences. Let me explain further what I mean by that. When I say there has to be uniformity in terms of number, I mean one of two things. One, I'm talking about noun-verb agreement. Noun-verb agreement basically means you'll have a noun, you'll have a verb that is pointing at the noun. That noun and that verb have to agree in terms of number in the sense that they should both be singular or they should both be plural. So if you're looking at a singular noun, use a singular verb. If you're looking at a plural noun, use a plural verb. Now we're going to look at an example sentence. The League of Nations were established by Degen Devida to bring about unity among the warring factions. The verb here is were established. That's our verb right? Now, uh, when we speak saying nations were kind of flows well and it seems to be right, but we're not talking about the nations. We are talking about the League of Nations, the whole thing, which is the name of probably an organization that was established. So the, how many leagues or how many organizations are we talking about? We're talking about one thing, which means this League of Nations is singular. If the League of Nations is singular, then the verb that you're using for it should also be singular. But where is a plural verb? And this would be incorrect. What you should be saying is was, because that again is the singular verb in the construction. So if you have a noun, and you have a verb that's referencing to it, then the two have to agree in terms of number. Both have to be singular or both have to be plural. There's another video on the YouTube channel that talks about this detail in a little, uh, this rule in a little bit more detail. Uh, so uh, the description of all that video is given in the link below. Please check out that video as well. When I say there has to be an agreement in terms of number, we also mean it in terms of the noun and the pronoun. Similar to noun verb agreement. If you have a noun and then you're using a pronoun to point at it or you're using a pronoun to replace it, then that noun and that pronoun should agree in terms of number. So if you're using a noun that is singular, then replace it with a singular pronoun. If you're using a plural noun, then replace it with a plural pronoun. Let's look at an example. The objective of the League of Nations established by Degen Devida was... Uh, to bring about unity among their warring members. Now, what are we talking about here? We're talking about the objective of the League of Nations. Objective is goal, singular. You're talking about one goal. That is why we used was here. Here the was is not agreeing with League of Nations. Here the was is agreeing with the objective. So that is now verb agreement. This is singular. This is also singular. No problem. Whose warring members are we talking about? Members of the League of Nations. League of Nations, as we discussed, is a singular noun, which means to replace it, you have to use a singular pronoun. So using a there here is incorrect because there is a plural pronoun. We have to say its warring members because we're talking about one organization and its members. So this is noun pronoun agreement, which was the problem in this sentence. So you need to kind of look at for both of these in a sentence, the noun and the verb should both be singular, the noun and the pronoun should both be singular, or both pairs should be plural or whatever, right? Um, so we're gonna look at the paragraph and we're going to check out how we can apply these rules in the paragraph that you were given as part of the challenge. Now, if you've not seen the challenge before, pause the video right Right now and check it out. Move on. All right. Let's look at the identification of the errors. I'm breaking down the paragraph into just two or three sentences at a point in time so that we can have a slightly more detailed discussion. I'm not putting all the errors on a single screen so it doesn't get cluttered. Okay. Let's look at these sentences. There's no question that global temperatures are increasing and the climate change is taking its toll. Okay, now what we're talking about is the toll taken by climate change. Climate change is singular, we've used an it's, which is perfectly fine, except this it's, when I put an apostrophe, means it is. So the sentence actually reads, and the climate change is taking, it is told, which does not make any sense. Now, belonging to that is what we want to say. It's told, climate change told. We want to use an apostrophe as possessive construction. We're used to using the apostrophe as construction when we want to indicate possessive, but that's only if you are talking about a noun. So if you want to say, for example, climates, 
then you use an apostrophe s yes, that's perfectly fine but when you want to use a pronoun you do not use an apostrophe s yes. when you put an apostrophe with words such as this when you're not talking possessive for nouns it indicates that there is actually letters missing between the t and the s which is the i and so you put the apostrophe to indicate the missing letters so this it's is in kere this it's without the apostrophe would be the right usage so be a little careful there that's one error in the sentence there are many initiatives that are being taken to counter these effects including efforts to control fossil fuel consumption and to reduce man made emis uh, carbon emissions right okay so your base sentence is that there are many initiatives And then you have a one modifier for the initiatives they are being taken to control these effects and this is one modifier and these initiatives include efforts to control fossil fuel consumption and to reduce man made carbon emissions that's a second modifier both these modifiers are trying to refer to the initiatives the initiatives are being taken the initiatives include efforts to control fossil fuel consumption now when you have multiple modifiers you will want to put them as close to the noun as possible that does not mean one modifier has to go before the word and another modifier has to go after the word even if you put both modifiers on the same side there is no problem as long as there is no ambiguity in the meaning of the sentence so can this second modifier that's farther away from initiatives mean anything other than point at anything other than initiatives that's what you need to check if there is ambiguity you're better off changing the order if there is no ambiguity you're fine with the sentence as it is now we said including efforts to take uh, efforts to control fossil fuel consumption so the, by using the word efforts i'm making it very clear that i'm pointing to the initiatives if the word efforts had not been there if i had simply said including fossil fuel consumption or something like that then there is a possibility that it would point to the effects but by using the word efforts we've made it clear that we're talking about the initiatives we're not talking about the effects so there is no error in the placement of the modifiers you do not have to swap it around you do not have to put one modifier before the word and another modifier after the word or anything of that sort so in this couple of in these couple of sentences there's only one error and that is the incorrect usage of apostrophe for the it's it's without the apostrophe would be the correct usage so get the next couple of sentences however the best technology for controlling the carbon emissions are not being used effectively what's not being used effectively the technology for controlling carbon emissions what did we discuss at the beginning of this video if your noun is singular you need to use a singular verb if your noun is plural you need to use a plural verb same applies for the noun pronoun agreement as well right technology is singular if technology is singular r is plural and you cannot use a plural r you should say is not being used effectively that would be the right usage let's continue reading tree cover must be increased because that would be the best way to counter carbon emissions forest can help governments achieve over a third of its climate target whose climate target are we talking about governments is government singular or plural plural is it singular or plural singular so you don't have noun pronoun agreement this time so this is also incorrect what should your construction be their climate target would be the right usage because garments is a plural now so we've seen one example of noun verb agreement here in the first sentence in the, on the page and we've seen one example of noun pronoun agreement here both of these as it stands is an error in the paragraph okay now let's talk about something else that we've not introduced so far in the video and that's the usage of this that i use a pronoun to either replace a noun in this case for example i can very well use a noun here i can say over a third of the government's apostrophe is climate target instead i'm using uh, there to refer to the governments in the plural right so I, i can use a noun but because it's less cumbersome if i use a pronoun i'm substituting it with a pronoun so pronouns are used to substitute or take the place of a noun pronouns can also be used to point at a noun for example i can say this book if i wanted to point at something so that page and so on so this that that is used here is being used to point at something what we need to be careful about is we need to ensure we use pronouns only to point at nouns you cannot use pronouns for any other parts of speech take this example sentence he is a very generous man and i like that about him we say that a lot when we speak what do you like about him you like the fact that he is a generous man now generous is an adjective so you're using a pronoun that 
which is a pronoun that is a pronoun and you are making it point at an adjective how will a pronoun point at an adjective this would be an incorrect sentence you need to say i like that quality about him or something like that and introduce a noun quality so that the, that has a word to point at we don't go to the trouble of saying it when we speak so we don't realize it's an error so back to the sentence tree cover must be increased because that would be the best way what would be the best way increasing tree cover is what you're pointing at but increasing tree cover is a verb so what you're doing is you're making the pronoun point to a verb in the sentence which is incorrect how can a pronoun point at a verb can point at a noun but it can't point at a verb so that's another error in the sentence if i wanted to correct that i would remove the that in this situation so a correct construction would be to say something like tree cover must be increased because such an increase would be the best way to counter carbon emissions sounds like a wordier way of saying it but this is the grammatically correct way of constructing it so we've identified three errors in these sentences so get the last couple of sentences in the para Deforestation driven by conversion of forest to agricultural land has led to a crisis. Deforestation is singular, has a singular, no problems there. Despite commitments made by governments and private companies to avoid the destruction of forests, reforestation of uh, reforestation of degraded land can not only fight the increase in carbon dioxide, because a tree can store forty-eight pounds of carbon dioxide in a year, but also solves other global issues such as increasing food security and farm productivity. Now, what is the solves referring to? It's referring to reforestation. So, at first glance, some people might think this is perfectly fine. Reforestation is singular. Solves is also singular. But you're using two verbs here to refer to reforestation. It does two things. It can fight the increase, right? And it can solve other global issues. We've used it not only but also. construction to refer to it and we've used the can before this not only but also construction so the can is kind of common to both the not only and the but also parts if you have multiple verbs in a sentence all of them referring to the same construction same noun you have to use the same construction so we've said can fight and can solve with what this actually means so when you are using a can you won't say can solves you will say can solve right because you're using a modal verb will would may might and all of that will not add the ses at the end of the verb when you're putting them after a modal verb so will solve might solve can solve is the only correct construction irrespective of whether the noun is singular or plural because you're talking about the future so singular plural doesn't come into the picture here right so if you use a can can fight and can solve is a construction so you should not be saying solves that's it those are our errors compiling them putting them all together on this page if you have any doubts or you have any questions please post them in the comments below